Yes, my people. This is the wrap. This is the color wrap I'm gonna use on the amp rack. Yeah. This is the color wrap. Don't know about the other side around there, but around the front here, I want it in this color. Yeah. Because I don't know the box is gonna be in yellow and white. Yeah. So this is the color up I'm gonna put on the rack, the amp rack. So yes, my people. Just stick and stay up on the channel. You will see what's happening next. All right. Peace. All right. The first sheet I'm putting on. Yeah. First sheet I'm putting on. The first wrap. Yeah. Is on the box. How it look, my people? Yes, I am. The first wrap is on the box. How it look? How it look? Nice color. I love the color. Yeah, the color is all about inside of a events, you know? Looking good, don't it? Yes, I. The real man. It's all about fashion of a style. Alright, so you don't know. I have to take off the paper off of this side before I put it down. But this thing is very sticky, you know? So you have to be careful. Because anywhere it wall, that's it. it now pull off back, so you have to make sure you catch the right and proper place where you want it. Make sure it sit down. Yes, my people, have a slick media. See? It? Up and running, up and running, up and running, up and running, up and running. How it look? Have a slick media. Yeah, as you can see, don't it? See what they're going on now. Yeah, man. The amp rack is ready, you know, up and running, you know. Not quite ready, but finish wrap. Yeah. So, this is the settings. We don't finish with the angle yet. Yeah. Don't finish with the angle yet because through it is white, it's gonna be easy to dirty. So this material have a different color, darker color. So I'm gonna put piece here. So each time you wall it, it don't dirt you up because it is white. So yes, my people. Yeah, DC meter is going to go here. Yeah, there's a meter going there, show the 12 volt. Alright. The next angle here. Yes, my people. Alright, the vent. Yeah, this is the vent. 
All right. This side is the mid range. Yeah. This is tweeter amplifier going to go here. Han amplifier going to go here. Bass amplifier is going to go here. This fan is the bodice. This fan is the bodice. So I put it where the bass is. This fan, because all of these fans have on the voltage and the amperage on it. This is the lowest amperage. So this one spin the lowest. The higher the amperage is, is more it spin. Yeah, the RPM faster. So this is the slowest. So I put it with the tweeter amplifier. You know what I mean? All right. This one, yeah, not too bad. Very fast, almost like the bass one. Yeah. This one, not too bad. Still can spin. But I put it here on the mid amplifier because the mid amp, amp having a fan inside of it. So yes, my viewers. I'm going to show you on the other side. Yeah. I'm going to flick it. I'm just gonna flick it. Just sit and watch and see how I flick it. Alright? I'm just going to flick it. Alright. Nice flick. This is the the next side of the rack. So as you can see, everything is well prepared inside here. Alright? Just start lift up back, you know. It's gonna lift for a little time. Yeah. It's gonna live for a little time, but you don't know. So yes, my viewers, as you can see, as you can see, yeah, looking good, don't it? Yeah, man, looking good, don't it? Yes, man. Now that me talk about aya, have a sleep media, all right? Have a plug board inside here. This is the tree where live negative on grounds, dead grounds, yeah. All right, you don't know. So my tweeter amplifier is going to screw here. My on is going to screw here. My mid-range is going to screw here. And my bass amp is going to screw here. But a crossover is going to be here. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, man, looking good, don't it? All right, my people, stick and stay, see? Yes, I. First thing first, yeah? I don't know. It's all about. This is a B, uh, Bass crossover. Yeah, BX45. Yeah? This is for the subwoofer. This is for um for the bass, the bass amplifier. Yeah? I'm going to go right here. So yeah, man. This is the first thing that install. Yeah? Feel like it depends on shocks. Yeah, it's springy, spongy, yeah. So that is the first thing. Back at it, back at it again. Yeah. Today it's all about the terminal for the 12 volt. Yeah, because you don't know it's all about DC. So one of this is gonna be in red, one is gonna be in black. Yeah, so this is the terminal black for the amplifier. Yeah, four terminal connection, four ground connection go to the four amplifier, four positive go to the four amplifier. Yeah. Otherwise, you can make a next connection for something else. But, you know, it's all about the amplifiers. The base amplifier is going to be right here. So, you know, that, 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 that terminal from here to the amplifier is going to be very short. So, I don't have to use a big wire. You know what I mean? Yeah, because, you know, the bigger wire, more amperage. So, the thing set up. All right? Yes, my people. Welcome to Everslick Media. Welcome to Everslick Media.